First, we would like to provide you with a brief overview of the project. Apart from the normal raw materials and ingredients, the kitchen project has four unit classes with units assigned to each. A desk, a pan, three pots, an oven. All the actual units belong to corresponding unit classes. The desk unit has the following processing capabilities, represented by equipment phases drain, fill solid, and turn. Some of the other units have the same processing capabilities as well as other processing capabilities. These processing capabilities, too, are represented by equipment phases. In addition to drain and fill solid, these additional phases are temp, add ingredient, and stir. The pan unit class also includes the turn equipment phase. Based on the drain equipment module of the pan unit class, we will now show you how an equipment module is used in the engineering system. The project is opened in the Semantic Manager. As you saw in the first part, equipment modules are displayed in the plant hierarchy. The drain folder contains a CFC chart called Pan Drain. This CFC contains an instance of the Pan Drain SFC type and a simulation block. The instance of an SFC type is handled like a normal block in CFC and can be used directly in Sematic Batch as a recipe phase in a master recipe without any further engineering. The SFC editor is opened by double clicking on any free point in the block. Since an SFC type can be instantiated more than once, and each instance linked to the blocks of the equipment module, the instructions in the steps and the conditions in the transitions are formulated using the input and output parameters of the interface of the SFC chart. The I.O. parameters are displayed in the CFC editor as inputs and outputs of the block that represents the instance of the SFC type. The last part of this video describes how to create an equipment phase.